Hello and welcome to another cooking show with Sylvia the old tater cowgirl. <laughs> Eddie the young tater cowgirl is in school. That's my grandmother, uh, granddaughter, not grandmother. I start early. <clears throat> you know, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> it's early morning <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm in a Daniel fast still, so I don't drink coffee. I, I notice it. <coughs> okay, I'm a little slow in the morning. But I feel good. Anyway, what are we doing today? So today we do a little different thing. We are not making a meal. We are making hydrochloroquine. Or, <laughs> as uh, the, the correct name, the, it's the equivalent to hydrochloroquine, the, the natural organic equivalent to hydrochloroquine, which is, which is called uh, quinine. And that's what we are doing today because in difficult times require a lot of uh, different sources so that you have stuff to get back to. My grandmother used hydrochloroquine, uh, she, or quinine, and she made it, an, I'm not sure, I lost the recipe, I'm not sure she, she used the same citrus I do, but uh, I know she did, because I remember in winter that she gave it to us uh, to prevent that we get sick. And this is a, a disclaimer, okay? I'm not saying hydrochloroquine helps any specific virus, but I'm offering this option for you to make it at home and have it. It is known for helping with all kinds of uh, anti, um, um, like lupus, uh, anti-inflammatory. It's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it helps with anti-immune uh, stuff like arthritis. But uh, you should read up on it. Quinine, it's called quinine. It's the uh, natural equivalent to hydro hydroxychloroquine. It's not a, 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 a drug I'm, I'm doing here. I'm making the natural equivalent. And now let's get started. I put you down to see, let you see what I do. Hold on. Go a little too far here. <laughs> okay, this should do. Yeah. Well, I already prepared. Okay, I'm using three organic grapefruits, medium, three organic lemons. And please only use organic stuff, not stuff that's, um, that has uh, some kind of, is treated with some kind of stuff, you know. You want organic and you have to wash it hot and rub it dry with a paper towel. So please be really careful with that. I did that already for you because otherwise the video is too long. And uh, I also uh, started to peel because all we need is the peel so uh, I also peeled already two grapefruits and two or uh, lemons I show how I peel the, the, I show you my way to peel them or maybe you have a better way I don't know but I show you these are the grapefruits I have already peeled and here is a bowl of lemons of course I don't throw that stuff away I make a fruit salad for the kids who come home early today from school it's early release Eddie brings two friends, so we need some food anyway. And maybe from the lemon, I also make some lemonade. I don't know. We will see. Anyway, so I show you now um, the grapefruit, how I peel that. I cut off that little top. You know, the this one with the knot on it. And then I can go in with my fingers. It's a little finagling, so you don't want to have... Any, any uh, skin or flesh from the grapefruit, only the bare um, peel. And you, you cut it later in little pieces if, if it, you don't want to have too big pieces. But the bare you peel it off, you know. I peel it off in a big piece and then cut it later <laughs> if I get it off. It's a little, you know, it's not that easy. You have to try a little bit but it's doable. 
yeah, I, I decided to do that today because anything you have at home that helps, if you can't get anything from the pharmacy or from the doctor, and this is a good way to to help a lot of anti-immune diseases and inflammatory diseases and colds, you know. And maybe it also helps a certain virus, which they say it doesn't, but others say that it does. But I don't wanna, I'm not an expert. I'm not gonna wanna talk you into doing this. And there can be side effects if you overdose and stuff, so don't do that either. This is not something you drink a glass full of or something. I will tell you the measurements later. It's a tablespoon in the morning and in the evening. That's what they recommend to use. Okay, I take that away. Now we, I try you the lemon, that's a little different. I cut it in half and make a little incision here on the side. And then it's easy to peel off the, the lemon. Of course you can squeeze out the lemon, but then you have to remove all the flesh you know, all the skin, the membranes and all that. So you don't want that in your concoction for the quinine or in your, in your pot when we start boiling it. Okay. Almost done. That's a really hard one here. The first two lemons were <laughs> easier to peel. Come on. Oops, I almost put it in the wrong part. So make sure you have no bruises. It should be a really nice lemon and a nice grapefruit. Not old stuff, bruised stuff. You don't want to have that. Okay, make the incision again. See, it's just the peel. You know, you don't want any of that stuff. I hope you're all doing well. I do. I am again in a Daniel fast. I do the 21 days these times. And I'm, 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 it really helps my well-being, my, uh, my mood. I lost weight. In the first 10-day Daniel fast, I lost 6 pounds. So... I'm not sure. I'm not looking on the scale right now. I don't want to be obsessed by looking on the scale, but I, I noticed that um, I'm losing weight a little. A uh, few things I noticed during the Daniel, Daniel fast is a few things. Um, you know, I, when I read the Bible, I get calmer. I have more hope that at some point we get over this as a nation, as a world. And uh, I also noticed a few things. For example, I can't use yeast. So I can't eat bread that's made with yeast. That was a big sacrifice for me. So I only eat these um, crackers and stuff right now and probably show you a recipe for unleavened bread. And that includes, um, you know, rising agents like baking powder. So I have to, I, ha I found a recipe actually to do this. Uh, let's get that kernel out here uh, later. <laughs> and um, I will try and show it to you. Okay, so we did that now. We look at the, I want to cut it a little. Oh, that's a good knife. Dang. Okay, let me get a better knife here. Yeah, that's better. So we make little, little ones. Don't want to have it too big. Those are already pretty small. And we put it in a pot. Turn you 
you around a little. Okay. We put it in a pot with four, four cups of water. If you need more, they should cover all the peels, but I, for now I put four cups in and then I see And the water should be filtered or from a bottle. Don't put just tap water in it. You don't want chlor, um, fluoride, fluor or anything in your water. So it should be filtered water, good water. Okay, so I think I need a little bit more because I probably have a wider pot. So it depends on the pot form, you know, if you have a, a narrow pot, you probably need less water, but I need a little bit more than four cups, I think. Let's make that a little smaller here. Here's a big one. what I need. Do another cup. Yeah, that should be okay. So it, they should be all be covered with the water. Okay, we need to put the lid on and we take it to the stove. I bring it to a boil. And then once it, it's at a boil, I let it simmer for three hours and then I get back to you again. Okay, <laughs> see you later. Hello, and we are back to the Tater Co Cowgirl Cooking Rodeo and uh, our hydrochloroquine uh, or uh, quinine, uh, as they call it, the natural equivalent, uh, has um, simmered for three hours and uh, I let it cool down and that's uh, important uh, until in, with the lid on, on the pot, let it cool down uh, for an, another half, a, half an hour, I would say. Yeah, this is what my one was on there. So I get it from the oven now and then we filter it into a clean glass and you will see what came out. So if you, if you want to use it, you know, I'm, I'm not claiming that it works, but uh, if you want to use it for the Rona, use it with a zinc supplement. So you can, this one alone won't help, but with a zinc supplement, it will, it might help you. Uh, all the other, uh, like arthritis um, and uh, inflammatory, you know, diseases and uh, lupus, it might work by itself, but uh, added with uh, a sink, a supplement added will will work better. Okay, I put you down now, just that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's put this a little over. So I have that pot where I simmered. First, I boiled it, and then I simmered it for three hours and let it cool down for half an hour. Mm, it smells good. And now we have to sift it into a glass, a clean glass. Let me do this here. I will press all of the, the peels through too. There's a lot of uh, liquid left in the peels, you know. All right. Oh man, it smells like uh, Christmas somehow, I don't know. Orange flavor. Okay, so take a paper towel. And I really wanna drain this out. These are the lemon and uh, grapefruit peels. I really wanna get every little drop. Uh, once it's completely cooled down, you can put it in the refrigerator. It holds easily for at least two weeks, if not more. 
and uh, you are using um, a tablespoon in the morning and a tablespoon in the evening and you together with a zinc supplement and you should be okay. Let's see. And to make this video not all about disease and everything, I will also add a few things uh, from the homecoming. Eddie's high school had their first homecoming game and we were there and I will add a, a few pics uh, at the end of that video. So it's not all about disease and viruses. <laughs> okay, here we are. This is our quinine or hydrochloroquine. And I'm putting a lid on top to seal it. And now it goes into the fridge. Easy peasy. And not expensive enough for our drug industry to really hone in on, on producing it because they can make any money and if you can make any money no politician or uh, drug uh, CEO will support it. That's the, that's the entire story about hydrochloroquine. But it's a good remedy against lupus, against so many other diseases, so it's worth having it. And uh, doesn't doesn't you don't need a lot of uh, time to do it. Okay, so see you next time um, at the Tater Cowgirl Cooking Rodeo, and as they say in California, peace out and let's go, Brandon. That we will go to the two, Marcus, Anthony, and number 11, Timezi, and Elias. Pitcher for Gonzalez, number 17, Diego, Flores.
ball is spotted on the 42 yard line. Yard to cover, first and 10. Tavares, that's about 4-10, but then we're going to see Justin Tavares. 